Go take a little trip It's such a future with me Go take a little dip Go take a little dive Get that energy right We gon' get it together Cause the car, the cars The key clarity The cars, the cars The key with you to welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyo and I'm going to do a pick a card reading. But before we get started, I'm going to give y'all like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 seconds to hit that like and subscribe button. Because I be feeling like y'all trying to play me. Y'all do not be trying to like my shit. Y'all do not be trying to subscribe to my shit. I don't even care if y'all subscribe. Just like it so that I can know that I should continue to do readings. Because, yeah, nobody about to drain me. Ain't no damn way that I went from TikTok and then gained... 11,000 subscribers and then I come to YouTube and then I get 50 likes like no I feel like I really deserve more than that so go ahead hit that like and subscribe button and if you don't like me asking for likes and subscribe get the fuck up off my shit get the fuck up off my shit cuz I am not for you all right thank y'all <laughs> All right, power one. So why do people like you? So I did pick up on a few names, a few places, okay? So I did get the name Janae, uh, Shaq or Shaquille. Um, somebody's name could be Ronnie. Somebody's name could be John or Johnson could be somebody's last name. Somebody could just be starting college here. Somebody could have the name Taylor. Somebody could be from Nashville. Um, I'm also hearing somebody could definitely be from uh, Dallas or Tennessee in Texas, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be, but those are a few of the names and stuff like that, that I picked up on that isn't going to resonate with everybody, okay? Now, I definitely see people like you because you're very direct with your communication. Whenever you want something done a certain way, you let them know, um, hey, I don't think you should do it like that or don't do my stuff like that or when you come to me, come correct, okay? So you guys are very, very um, direct with your communication. I'm also getting you guys are really, really aggressive with your communication, but it's not in a mean way. Like, it's aggressive, but it's very um, cute. It, <laughs> it's almost like when you um, are aggressive to people, especially when they already like you or connected to you, you may turn them on or you may give them, like, an extra pep. I feel like whenever you're aggressive, it, like, people don't really take it personal, okay? Um, also, I see that people like you because uh, you show people the affection and attention that they have been craving, okay? Some of the people that you guys connect to, they get ignored a lot, okay? They're just like you. I feel like um, you attract people just like you, but they have never um, received genuine attention, genuine love, genuine support from people. So when you get around them, I feel like you can read their energy and you can tell, like, people don't fuck with you the same way they don't fuck with me. So you make sure that they know that you're paying attention to them, okay? So if they're telling you a story, you're really into it. And people People, they really appreciate that about you. They really like that, okay? You give them the attention that they have really been deserving, okay? So thank you for doing that for people, okay? Thank you for paying attention uh, to, to people um, and the way that they feel. It's, it's mainly the way that they feel, okay? Also, you let people know... Um, you hear them. Yeah, it's like when people are talking or they're telling you something, you let them know you hear them. You're like, yes, I went through the same thing. Or are you serious? It's like you're, you're giving them, um, I don't know, validation. Um, you're helping them, okay? But continue to do that for people, okay? Continue to pay attention to people. Because like I said, I feel like you know what it feels like to be ignored or you know what it feels like to be talking and then all of a sudden somebody just shifts and start talking about something else and you're like... So you make sure you pay extra attention to people um, when they are speaking, okay? Um, now, I also feel uh, people like you because it's really hard for people to resist you. I feel like you have really, really, like, I don't know, something about your energy where you pull people in, okay? People, they might, some people might not even want to, like, look at you. They might not even want to watch you. They may not even want to connect with you. But at the end of the day, they still end up clicking on your shit. They still end up talking to you. They still end up trying to connect with you, okay? Um, and it's like, I don't know why they would not want to connect with you in the first place. But it's like, whenever they try not to, they can't, they can't resist it. They're like, like, shit, I might as well go over there and connect with Brianna, okay? I always use the name Brianna. If your name is Brianna, comment down below because I've been channeling your ass for like a year, okay? <laughs> okay? But yeah, it's definitely hard for people to resist you. Like I said, it could definitely be, like I said, something about your energy. Um, and it's the way that you 
you validate people. You make people like know that you're listening to them and that they're not wrong. OK. Um, now, I also feel like you give people pep talks. Yeah, it's like when people call you or you hit them up or you're talking to them, you are you are motivating people. Okay, you're very motivational. Some of you guys are actual motivational speakers and the people I'm talking about, they watch you on social media or something. But for most of you guys, I'm getting like people who can call you and you can give them pep talks. People can be in a low vibration and you can be like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, you about to level up in the next day or so. So, uh, you know, you the shit. How dare you allow that? to hurt you. It's like that. You give people fire ass pep talks. And like I said, it's something about the way that you're aggressive with it. Like, let's say somebody came to you cause they got hurt and you're giving them a pep talk. It's almost like, you're like, shit, you know, you the shit, Fuck that person. They, they ain't shit anyway. They don't, it's like, <laughs> it's kind of like you just, you make people realize like, you know, all the abundance that this person was using off of you, it's all yours. Right. And they're like, you know what? I didn't even see it like that. You know, if you wasn't giving them the energy that you was giving them, they wouldn't be shit right now, right? And they're like, you damn right. I'm going to stop giving people my energy. Okay, so you really help people out. Uh, you give people pep talks. And I feel like when you're giving them these talks, you actually do care. So you get emotional about it. You could be a water sign, okay? But you get really emotional. Um, and like I said, it's probably because you either been through that or you don't treat people a certain way. So you're like, when, whenever somebody comes to you uh, with a sob story or something has went wrong in their life, you're like, what the f is wrong with people and then that's how that's a way that you're helping people um like level up okay you're helping them see like through other people you're giving them like the energy that they need to not be i don't know to not self-pity it's like they be self-pitying themselves or they just be like oh my life sucks and then you come through and you're like man fuck him okay <laughs> oh it's, it's remind me of it's a song uh, with Janae A. L. K. Or I don't know how to say her name, but Janae, and at the end of the song, somebody calls her. And it's because she was going crazy over a dude, and they're like, you know, you're the one. Fuck them. Fuck his bitch. I know y'all know what song I'm talking about. That's kind of like who you are. I know you're not crying over no fuck nigga. Fuck him. You're the one. You're the shit. So I don't know what song that is, but go back or go look if you know what it is. Comment down below, but. That's who you are. You call people and you're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you got it all wrong. See, they're trying to lower your vibration because you're chosen. And I know damn well you ain't letting this person get to you. So thank you for doing that for people. And thank you for helping people out in that way, okay? Because that's actually, it's like you're uh, nurturing them. It's like a very aggressive mother. Um, so you guys could be, some of you guys are mothers and you do this for your children here. But you guys are very aggressive and you guys are like, mothers okay but it's still very sweet at the same time you don't mean no harm toward the other person is what i'm getting and this is why people like you they just know that you're trying to um make them feel better or that you are making them feel better sorry people keep calling me okay so i also see that you stand up for people and things that you believe in this is why people like you people will come towards you because they know that you're going to tell them the truth okay so if they're wrong you'll be like eh, i ain't gonna lie uh, but if they're right you going in with them fuck that <laughs> y'all funny as hell i really like y'all okay i also see uh people like you because other people are following you okay so this just seems like you're starting to get clout or you're um somewhat popular here or people just like you and you have to know that some people only like you because other people like you and that's just how it goes you know that those people are followers i'm also getting that most of you guys are trendsetters or trailblazers okay y'all start shit all the time and some of y'all might not get credit for the shit that y'all actually started like you're the first one to do something in your town city state or worldwide and then all of a sudden people start to do it too they may not want to give you your credit but people definitely see you okay because it's like People see you being the trendsetter in a, in a trailblazer. Let's say you you do stuff like six months ahead of time or something or a year or two ahead of time. Some of you guys are like a couple uh, years ahead of time. Some of you guys will be like a couple months ahead of time. But when they see the trend, when people see the trend setting in, they were like, bruh. Britney was doing this two years ago. Remember we was calling her lame or that she didn't have no style? Now we all doing it. Huh? It's like that. So people definitely see you as a trailblazer here. Um, the people who are starting to recognize you um, basically tap into the future or tap into future energy before it even happens. Like you're setting trends before it even happens. These people, they are starting to 
basically copy you instantly. Not they, They're not waiting six months anymore. They see your hair a certain way, and they might look a little weird at first because they ain't never seen nobody else with it. Then they realize, oh, shit, maybe I should go ahead and get my hair like this real quick because this motherfucker, they always um, – doing stuff before everybody do it and I need to be that person doing that too so people like that okay um also people like the fact that you're really balanced like I said you could be really aggressive but you could be really really calm at the same time you guys are really really balanced I also get that people like you because you have strong um energy especially when you're fired up like I said it's something about the way that when you're when people are venting to you or you're talking about something you're like you got me fucked up or they got you fucked up People really like that, okay? They really like that energy. They can feel that energy off of you, and they're like, shit, I'm going to be around. It, it feels like almost like you're protecting people um, whenever you're taking up for them in, in, in a sort of way, okay? Now, some of you guys have a uh, septum or some type of nose ring here. People are really attracted to that. And I also see that uh, you blend in with whoever you come in contact with. OK, so you're not making people shift and change. And you, I think you don't like making people feel uncomfortable. So whenever somebody is like doing something or they're acting a certain way, I, I feel like you just blend in. You just naturally just blend in. I don't know how else to explain it. OK. But that is the channel, hey, pal, too. Why do people like you? Hit that like and subscribe button before we get started. Um, and these are the channel messages. So I'm getting that some of you guys are Hispanic. Uh, Tennessee is very significant to somebody. Somebody's name could be Kate, Caitlin, J. Okay. Um, but those are on, only a little bit of the names and places that I picked up on. Okay. So people like you, some of you guys have took in some type of shrooms okay <laughs> you guys be taking trips is what i'm getting some of you guys smoke weed okay and others of you guys you are naturally high like <laughs> you don't have to take shrooms you don't have to smoke weed you guys are naturally high okay i'm also getting people like you because you are an amazing manifester like whatever you say you're going to manifest it manifests and people are seeing the fruits of your labor i also see uh people like the fact that you study astrology or you know astrology you know what the fuck you're talking about whatever you do some of you guys this is astrology for some of you guys this will be tarot for some of you guys um this will be like some type of occult knowledge um for some of you guys this is something about your ancestry but you guys know what you're talking about when it comes to these things okay i'm also getting some of you guys uh practice the law of attraction or you like I said are just really good at manifesting and you guys have done it to the fact where you have like damn near mastered it okay and people see this people notice this I also get people like you because you guys meditate here some of you guys like I said it's different for all y'all but I, what I'm mainly getting is you guys are spiritual people like you because of the way that you manifest whether you're sitting there meditating whether you're, you, you're losing the law of attraction, losing, using the law of attraction, whether you're sitting there making potions, whatever you do to manifest, people like it, okay? Because it's going to be different for everybody. And like I said, your spiritual practices, people are really drawn to it, okay? Oh, I almost choked. Um, people feel like um, it fits you really, really well, okay, is what I'm getting. I also put that you guys know your history. Like I said, you guys know what you're talking about. Some of you guys, this is Bible history. For some of you guys, this is ancient alien history. For some of you guys, it's just different um, histories uh, that you guys have tapped into. But people feel like you know what you're talking about. You know your history. Like, they can trust you. They can trust you and they can come to you for any type of work here. Like I said, some of you guys may do work for other people. Like I said, you could be a tarot reader, you could do spell work for other people, you could be an astrologist, um, or you could literally just be sharing this on a, a public platform or to people that you know, okay? But people really like the fact that you do know what you're talking about, okay? Now, some of, if some of you guys, if you do tarot or you do anything where you have to tell people shit that they can't see themselves, uh, people be wanting you to feel guilty about certain things. Like yesterday I, I made a reading and I'm sure I be accidentally exposing y'all. That's why y'all don't be commenting on my shit. That's cool, though. But I know for a fact I be accidentally exposing some of y'all. <laughs> and this is probably where people want me to feel guilty so some of y'all y'all be like accidentally exposing people or y'all be accidentally saying stuff and or some some of y'all y'all be tapping into the wrong information like y'all gonna say it's this person bro this person trying to sabotage you what the fuck this bitch ain't sh it's like y'all be going in on the person that's reading and the whole time you reading your client <laughs> 
they be wanting you to feel guilty. They be like, I know this bitch didn't call me a stank ass hoe. <laughs> And the whole time, you thought you was reading the other person's energy. And the whole time you reading the person who's watching you energy, they be wanting you to feel guilty, okay? Like I said, yesterday I feel like I exposed a few people because it was talking about, bruh. At first I was like, damn, somebody trying to steal your boyfriend, your girlfriend? And then I was like, oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody from Pal 2 comment. <laughs> so I kind of expect that with this Pal 2 too. Y'all probably not finna comment. Um... So, yeah, I'm definitely getting that people want you to feel guilty because you know the truth, even though I feel like you're not doing it on purpose, okay? Also, people like you because you are authentic, okay? You are who you say you are. Uh, some people may have tested your spirit uh, because that's just what you're supposed to do, honestly. If you have any type of reader, anybody who claims to be a prophet of any sort, you need to test their spirit, all right, to know what side are they on, okay? And if... You know, they ain't on the right side. Just detach, detach from them. All right. Um, but people definitely know you're the truth. OK, especially when you're repeating yourself. Like, let's say you told somebody something five years ago and then five years later you hit them up or they hit you up and you tell them the same shit. They're like, you know, I don't even think she's lying no more because she keeps saying the same thing. Over and over and over. So people know you're the truth because you repeat yourself or the way that you say it. Like if you're reading people or if you're like looking at something, you're like, ah, no, I don't think that's right. It's the way like it's all in your facial expression. It's all in the way that like your energy here. OK, so people know you're the truth, even though they might not want to hear the truth. Sometimes they know you're telling the truth and that's all that matters. OK, now. A lot of these people would be like your past classmates, your old friends here. But I'm definitely seeing that these people um, seen you grow up, okay? They seen you glow up for the most part, okay? I also see that these people have grown up to have like shitty or boring jobs while you sitting here being a psychic. <laughs> yeah. Or be, for some of y'all who are sitting here, you're being an artist here. Some of you, you're just doing something really unconventional that most people cannot make money from, but you're doing it uh, beautifully. Some of your classmates, they could have been like just doing really boring jobs that are not on their path. Like somebody's an accountant <laughs> and they're like, bruh, I want to be psychic too. <laughs> it's like that, okay? So yeah, your classmates are definitely watching you uh, and they, they see you like shift completely here. I also get that some of you guys don't work. Or your job is just hella fun. So like I said, your old classmates or your old friends could be looking at you like, this bitch don't work. And yet they're still happy. Or this bitch don't, uh, <laughs> this bitch job is like lollygagging. Or it looks like all she do is play all day. Like, what do they actually do? And it's because they're putting in a lot of work at like whatever they're doing. Um, and there's nothing wrong with whatever they're doing. It's just... For some of you guys, most of you guys, these people, this is not on their path to be working in a factory. It's not on their path to be um, working in a restaurant. So they see you just being financially free or just free spirited. And they're like, bruh, that's what I'm supposed to be right now. I'm supposed to be doing that, too. So people really like the fact that you're doing that. It kind of gives, especially if you used to be shy or quiet or something, um, it makes them feel like, you know what, if she could do it, I could do it, too. Because back then I used to be crazy and she used to be quiet. And you know what? If she could do it, I could do it too. It's like that. Okay? So people definitely be checking up on you. Especially people who used to be your classmates or something. Okay? Now I'm also getting um, people may not have treated you the best in school. Yeah, some of the people that's like admiring you right now, they didn't treat you the best in school. They weren't the nicest to you. They didn't give you attention. They might have made fun of you. They might have talked about you with other people. Um, but I'm definitely seeing now they're checking in on you. They're checking for you. They're like, shit, let's see what um, Toyel is doing. It's like old classmates. I'm here in middle school. Middle school. <laughs> okay, people from middle school are checking in on you. Um, a lot. They like they like what you're doing. I feel like some of you guys are giving them advice. Like I said, some of you guys could be terror readers. Some of you guys could be doing something in the public eye, or some of you guys could just simply be talking about whatever you're doing um, on social media where they can see it easily. Okay, it doesn't mean that they're like stalking you. It just means like let's say you post it on Facebook and all of them on Facebook, they all see it and they're like, damn, this person, cool out to them. I'm proud of them. Okay, um, now. People really like you because, like I said, you guys have leveled up in a big way. People really remember you having anxiety, uh, being insecure, um, just 
not being out there with it. Now you don't give a fuck is what I'm getting. And people like that. They're like, this person has changed completely, okay? Now, I'm also getting people like you because you burn bridges with people and you don't care. You will cuss a motherfucker out and be like, okay, bye, bitch. And you will not care. People like that. People like the fact that you can't be fake is what I'm getting. Um, you won't. You refuse to be fake. Like, you'll cuss a motherfucker out before you sit there and be be uh, miserable with them or be sitting there and wait till they leave to gossip about them. You don't do that weird fake shit. You cut them out. You burn them bridges and you be like, yeah, don't come back either. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are funny as hell. Um, now, if people like you or not. Oh, you don't care if people like you or not, which makes you likable. Yeah, that's why I said like some people, they care too much if people like them or not. You don't give a fuck. And that what makes people want to like come around you. I feel like some of the people, they try to uh, make you feel insecure, especially in the past. Maybe you used to care if people liked you. Now you don't care. And that's what's basically y'all probably used to want like friends, attention. Why doesn't nobody care about me? Why doesn't anybody like me? And you guys have really strong energy. So basically y'all don't even know that y'all was uh, manifesting. But a part of the law of attraction is if you become too obsessed with it, it's telling the universe that you don't got it. OK, so back in the day, y'all probably used to be like, I don't have friends. I, nobody likes me. Nobody supports me. Shit like that. And you kept telling the universe that. And that's what was making it happen. Now that you don't released it, you don't give a fuck what people think. It's like now these people are checking for you. The people that should have been your friend when you were younger or when you were in high school, they want to be your friend now. But like I said, the fact that you wanted friends so bad, they they didn't want to be your friend. They didn't want to connect with you. And it doesn't all necessarily have to be friends. This could be clients. You could have wanted clients so bad uh, and they were like hell no and then now you like fuck a client I don't want none of y'all I don't care about none of y'all then they're like oh my god can I get a reading <laughs> they funny as hell okay um now for some of you guys you you guys like I said used to be really really quiet now you're starting to share your thoughts your ideas with other and others and others are like bro I didn't know this person was this smart some of you guys, the smart kid in class, um, you're smarter than them. Like the kid, <laughs> the smart kid um, from high school, middle school, you are now starting to showcase your actual knowledge or your intelligence. And that, that person is even thinking you're smarter than them. You are tapped into information that they don't know anything about. And they're like, whoa, but you're helping, make, helping it make sense to a lot of people, okay, whether they know you or not here. Some of you guys are definitely bilingual. Like I said, I picked up on a lot of Hispanic people. Uh, so some of you guys definitely speak English, Spanish. Somebody um, is studying Chinese, okay? Yeah, so that sounds cool. I used to want to speak Spanish. <laughs> I suck. Uh, bro, I remember I had this uh, Puerto Rican friend. I made her teach me all the nasty shit. I don't know why I didn't want to learn good things, but I could tell you how to say my dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> anyway, so if people don't like you, other people automatically know not to trust them because this is how truthful you are. This is how much of the truth you come with. If you are a prophet, if you are a reader, if you are a psychic, or if you're just honestly truthful to everybody, if somebody tries to go against your truth, other people are like, yeah, I already know she's the truth. I've already talked to her. I've already watched her channel. I've already got a reading by her. You're an op. I don't trust you. It's like that. People already know if somebody ain't fucking with you, they, they know not to fuck with them because you are literally um, of God. You are very spiritual, okay? You are really God's child. And if anybody's going against you, they're literally the opposite, which means they're the devil's child. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So some of you guys can really, really cook here. And this is why people like you. I'm also getting like some of you guys, if you don't cook, you actually know how to bake really, really well. You may bake for your friends, family, people you care about. I'm also getting people like you because you are in your bag. You come with the real or you are the real. Like I said, you're in your bag. You're genuine. Some of you guys, uh, you need to raise your price or something because you're too real for the prices uh, that you have. OK, um, also, I'm getting that you don't fake shit. People like you because you don't fake shit. It's a lot of emphasis on people knowing that you're the truth, that you're genuine. And maybe in the past, people try to uh, turn people against you. But like I said, people know you're the truth already. So when people try to turn people against you or try to make you look a certain type of way, they instantly get like 
looked at in a weird way. Like, yeah, bitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> That's funny as hell, okay? So, yeah, I'm getting you come with the real. You don't fake shit. I'm also getting when you're happy, you're happy. You're not about to come on here and be like, hey, guys, when you're depressed as hell. If you're depressed and you come on here and you're making a video, you're going to look depressed. Like, yeah, anyway. <laughs> if you're mad and during a reading or if you're mad when you're talking to people, you're going to show your anger. So people are like, yeah, she don't fake shit. He don't fake shit. Um, and people really like the fact that when you are mad, you just release it. So when you get mad, you're like, you dumbass. Whatever you got to say. Okay, y'all might not call people dumbasses, but <laughs> whatever you say um, or what, however you react to your anger, people uh, like this. I feel like it's like really healthy um, of you to react the way you react instead of holding it in, okay? Because if you hold it in, you're probably going to explode, okay? Also, people really like your optimism. You're very optimistic. Um, now, I ain't going to lie, you annoy pessimistic people, um, but optimistic people, you also help raise their vibration. Pessimistic people, they want to stay in that energy. They don't want to uh, be happy or to level up. So when they see you trying to bring everybody up, they're like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> okay. I'm also getting, you guys do not show no fake love. You guys don't do fake love and light shit either. Like, you're spiritual. Some people who are spiritual, you know they fake as fuck when they try to make it seem like everything is love and light. Love and light. No, the fuck it ain't. No, the fuck it ain't. You got to go into the dark to get to the light. So if you can't um, connect with your shadow side, I feel like you're fake. And that's how people, people definitely, like I said, know that you're the truth because you don't come with that. It's everything is love and light because everything is not love and light. Being spiritual don't mean love and light. Sometimes being spiritual means putting somebody in a place, um, not letting people run over you. Because like I said, in the past, it seems like um, people used to run over you. People used to talk about you, all that shit. And it's because you were so, so nice. Now that you become more spiritual, you set your boundaries. Some people may think you're mean here, but really you just not finna fake shit. Like God don't want you to get ran over. I don't know how to explain it. Like, people think you're supposed to just be, oh, so nice um, when people are doing you dirty. Not least, pal three, why do people like you? Hit that like and subscribe button before we get started. Now, people like you because you come just in the right time. Uh, you may hit up your friends, your family just in the right time whenever they're feeling really, really low. Uh, if you are in the public eye, you may post right when people need you here, okay? Um, but you come through right in the nick of time, okay? I'm also getting you check on your loved ones here, okay? The people that you actually care about, you check in on them, okay? I'm also getting people like you because you don't do small talk. You're like, yeah, no, let's 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 get to the action. I don't I don't this is weird. I feel like small talk is weird to y'all or something, or it's awkward. Like, mm, anyway. <laughs> People really like you because you're very, very creative here, okay? You guys are always finding solutions to problems here. Um, and I feel like you're finding solutions to your own problems, but you're finding solutions to other people's problems as well. You guys are really, really creative, okay? Because it's almost like, I don't know. It's Because I just got an image of like something breaking down and then you fixing it, you rigging it. It's like that. It's like you always finding solutions, even though people feel like, Bro, this is cannot be fixed. It's like that. It's like something that people feel like cannot be fixed. You always find a way to fix it uh, because you're so creative. People can't see a way around around it, but you can, okay? I'm also getting people like you because you have bedroom eyes. Some of you guys have fox eyes, okay? Uh, some of you got, I wasn't being racist. That's not, I wasn't doing Asian eyes, okay? I was doing like fox eyes. I love people with foxy eyes that like slant. Uh, oh, it's beautiful, okay? If you got that, comment down below. Uh, but you guys can have foxy like eyes or you could have bedroom eyes where you look at people and they're like, damn, who was that? <laughs> okay? Um, people definitely like you because you're so nonchalant. Yeah, it's like you guys are really, really calm here. You're nonchalant. Um, you may tell people like, oh, sure, whatever you want. Oh, I don't care. I can go with the flow. Is that what you want? Sure. And they'd be like, what do you want, though? And you're like, 
I'm cool with anything. So what do you want? Because you're probably more picky than I am. It's like that, okay? Also, people like you, the fact that you're really, really responsible. Some of you guys are really good with money. Some of you guys, you really take care of yourself, your home. Uh, but you guys are super responsible. Some of you guys are very courteous and you guys take care of stuff. I, I'm hearing like really organized. Um, if you're not organized now, uh, you should definitely go organized because it's going to level you up. Some of you guys, uh, the issue is... You need to organize. You need to organize. Somebody's wondering why they're stagnant or uh, their mental health is not right. You need to organize. Others of you guys, you guys are already organized, okay? And people like this. And this is why your mind is balanced, okay, for the most part. Uh, so somebody, somebody needs to clean up their room. Look, I just looked at my flow. I need to clean up my room. <laughs> okay. But people feel like you're really good with money. I'm also getting, most of you guys are homebodies here. People like the fact that you like to stay home here. You may just invite your friend, your sister, your brother, whoever you're connected to over. Um, I'm also getting, like when y'all at home, y'all wear little to no clothes. I don't know why people like that. Uh, maybe you have a really nice shape or something. Or maybe you're just comfortable. People like to see you uh, being comfortable in your natural habitat okay um but i'm definitely getting some of y'all be at home and y'all just be naked or half naked okay <laughs> i'm also getting uh you're always 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 there when other people need you guys like you never miss a beat so thank you for always being there when people need you guys i feel like people really vent to you or codependent on you but i also feel like you can handle it as well okay very nurturing very motherly okay i'm also getting um you guys glow okay your energy rubs off on other people i feel like y'all y'all really do shine in the sun especially if you have a lot of melanin i'm really emphasizing on dark skin you glow and i'm not saying if you don't have dark skin you don't glow i'm literally just saying like a brown skin girl or a dark skin girl and her skin just glowing from the sun okay so don't be offended don't be offended, okay? Um, but I, I definitely see if you are dark skin, you really glow in the sun, and people really like that. People are really attracted to your skin, okay? Others of you guys, if this is not you having dark skin, you can have dark features like dark hair, dark eyes. Um, I'm hearing native. Some of you guys are Native Americans or um, Dominican, Puerto Rican, or something, okay? Um, but you guys have dark skin as well, or darker skin than. I guess your peers or something like that, but your dark skin is very attractive. Okay. Um, I'm also getting, you don't post your personal business on social media. People have to guess. People are always like guessing what you have going on because you're not about to, it's none of their business is what I'm getting. I'm also getting, um, you guys are spoiled. Some of you guys are sp uh, spiritually spoiled, but I'm getting whoever is connected to you, people give, give, give to you, okay? People like this, and others of you, it's like uh, you love to be spoiled. I feel like when people give you a certain energy, you give it back to them. This is what I'm picking up on, okay? Uh, so if people spoil you, you spoil their ass right back. It's not like you're just draining them of their funds, their energy, their uh, resources. You give them that shit right back. I feel like you don't connect with energy vampires like that. So like I said, it's got to be an equal give and take, okay? So that's, that's what's up. I feel like when they do give you the energy that you feel like you deserve, you spoil the fuck out of them, okay? Um... Now, I also feel like you guys are always putting people up on game. You guys are always shedding light on things for people. Um, if somebody asking you, like, where did you get this? You're like, you don't give a fuck. You're like, oh, I got it from right here. Like, you guys are showing people where to get certain things. For some of you guys, it could be knowledge. Um, but you are always putting people up on game on certain things that they want to know. People know that they can hit you up for, okay? I'm also getting you guys are a literal star here. Like I said, you guys are shining here. A lot of people really want your attention. Uh, people may do certain things to get you attention i'm hearing like sneaky though like people are sneaky they they want your attention but they don't want you to know that they're like deliberately doing things to get your attention okay uh like let's say that somebody keeps sending you tiktoks and you're like are you trying to do that and they're like yeah but it's because they want to be your friend or something because they see you being a star uh <laughs> but they're like intentionally inserting themselves in a place where you can see them. So watch out for that. I don't like that. Okay. Now people are extra careful about the energy they give you. Like I said, cause whatever you energy they give you, you give it back. Like I said, if you're, they're nice to you, you're going to be nice to them. If they're spoiling you, you're going to spoil them. But if they come around you and they give you nasty energy, if they're hating on you, 
you're going to give them that nasty energy back and they're most likely going to get sick or something. OK, I'm also getting. Yeah. Whatever energy people give you, you give it back to them 10 times. Like I said, 10 times. So people better treat you good. Like I said, it seems like when people treat you well, they get blessed. They get spoiled or something uh, just for doing nice things for you or to you. Um, and for some of you guys, you have the ability to spoil them yourself. OK, so that's that. But like I said, I also feel like people need to be careful what energy they give you, because when you get mad and if they're playing with you or messing with you, they get that. Like I said, they get that back times 10. If somebody tried to play you, they might go to jail the next day. <laughs> anyway, I also see people like you because they see you having the potential for a lot of worldwide success or they see you potentially being very, very successful. Um, now, some of you guys are pretty as fuck. Like people like you because you're very, very beautiful. A lot of emphasis on your eyes. OK, uh, some of you guys can have very colorful eyes or just uh, bedroom eyes. Like I said, um, some of you guys have a very big eyes, like adorable. Um, so it's all different. Somebody got sexy eyes. Somebody have adorable eyes, like a kid. Somebody has, like, puppy dog eyes, okay? Uh, but people really like your eyes. They're very beautiful, no matter what the shape or size or color. Um, and also getting you guys catch people's eyes for the first time. When people first see you, people first see you, that's when you attract them the most. And then when they first meet you, they start to look up your social media. Like, if you're meeting people in person, they look up your social media, They'll ask people, like, who is that? If these are people who are first seeing you for the first time on social media, they'll go ahead and follow you. Some of you guys, they don't follow you. They just, they'll look you up every now and then to look at you or to watch you or whatever the case. Don't do that to me. Follow me. All right. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye.